What's up guys? In the last video, I showed you how to set up a custom subdomain on GitHub when your Apex domain was also pointing to GitHub. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom subdomain that's using a repository on GitHub while your Apex domain is actually pointing to a different server. In this case, it's gonna be pointing to Squarespace. So let's go ahead and jump on into this video. All right, so I have this website up right here and I also have my Google domains page along with a, my GitHub account. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this real quick. So first off, I just wanna show you, I am using, um, let me see where, domain overview. This website right here is hosted with Squarespace. You can see right here, this is all pointing to Squarespace. Um, and to connect the, uh, or another site, another server completely, this one specifically, a GitHub repo, to this website right here as a subdomain, it's very simple. So let's just jump over to the DNS settings. And this is the only thing that's really gonna be different at all compared to the last video we did where we're adding a subdomain to a uh, URL that is already hosted with GitHub. So this is on Squarespace and all we need to do is instead of a C name, this time we're just gonna use the A record. I'm gonna set this to 1M. Let's set up what we want our subdomain to be. So I'm just gonna say testing. And then now we have to go in and add our IP addresses. So currently this domain is pointing to the Squarespace server, but we need to point this record to a different server. So to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and type in the um, GitHub uh, IP address. So it's 185.199.108.153. I have them right next to me, so I'm reading them right now. We'll go ahead and we'll just add the next one. And the only difference is this is now a nine. One more, this is now 10. Yeah, one more, and this is now uh, 11. Now, before I click save, I'm actually gonna go over here and I'm going to type that in, testing, just so you can see there's nothing sitting here right now. All right, so let's go ahead and add that. And now that that's been added, this is gonna take about a minute to actually take effect. So let's go over here to our GitHub repo and scroll on down. And I'll show you, this is currently what's being hosted here. So it's just a little little, little project from a, a long time ago, uh, just messing around. But anyways, we're gonna add that uh, custom domain with the subdomain. So it's gonna be testing.mbxdrn.com. And we're just gonna go ahead and save that. And then you might need to wait a minute or so for both of these things to take effect, but let's see if this says anything. So uh -huh, it's ready to be published. Let's go ahead and refresh this page and see if it's working yet. Not just yet. All right, so let's just give this a minute and then I'm gonna come back and refresh this page. All right, so it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and refresh this page real quick and there we go, okay, so it's just saying your connection is not private, so I'm just gonna go here and continue to the unsafe version, and now you can see this is being hosted at testing.mbxdrn.com, um, and the only reason it's not secure yet is because this has not generated the certificate just yet. This can take a little bit of time, maybe I, I would typically see about like an hour or so, um, but that's, that's all you need to do to get this to work uh, with a subdomain when the uh, just the domain itself is pointing to a different server, like Squarespace or anything like that, really. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you need to do to set up a custom subdomain using a GitHub repo while your Apex domain is actually pointing to a different server. So it's super simple. The only real difference here is we're gonna use an A record instead of a C name, and we're gonna point to the, to the uh, GitHub IP addresses for that subdomain A record. 
instead of using the CNAME and pointing to your username.github.io. That's really it. So anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. But if you also like the content that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary Newton where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.